Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday, last day of e-learning for the week, April 23rd. Hopefully everybody had a great Earth Day yesterday, got out and did a little bit of good, disconnected from the devices a little bit, uh, enjoying some time to yourself. Uh, so before we get to some information, let's start our day as we always do with a little prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you would join me in our prayer today. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I am your humbled servant. I come before you today in need of hope. There are times when I feel helpless, and there are times when I feel weak. I pray for hope. I need hope for a better future. I need hope for a better life. I need hope for love and kindness. Some say that the sky is at its darkest just before the light. I pray that this is true, for all seems dark. I need your light, Lord, in every way. I pray to be filled with your light from head to toe, to bask in your glory, to know that all is right in the world, as you have planned and as you want it to be. Help me to walk in your light and live my faith, or my life in faith and glory. In your name I pray, amen. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Now, if you join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Got some recent uh, announcements here. Some of you may have seen some of these emails come across. Uh, definitely Walkathon, changing a little bit of the version that we could have uh, this year, given the fact that you know we obviously cannot be together and enjoy it. Um, in our normal fashion, but we're still going to forge ahead. Uh, we had a lot of great feedback, a lot of good suggestion come in from parents, students, faculty. Um, so thank you. We're going to try it out in, in this sort of format. Fantastic informational email went out from Mr. Stimler earlier uh, this week. Make sure you check it out. Make sure that you realize that it's an important fundraising opportunity for us and an important time for us to sort of spread the good that we do at Mount Carmel, um, but also to help us continue to be able to support um, our teachers, our students, um, and everything that we do uh, on campus and off like we're doing right now. So please make every effort to get this in and just really rise up, meet the challenge. Exceed your fundraising goal. Don't just meet it. Um, exceed it and try to, uh, again, keep spreading that good and, uh, you know, hopefully let your, your donors know that every single penny is going to a really great cause of helping uh, keep the mission and the spirit of Mount Carmel alive. So thank you in advance for all your work on that. Uh, secondly here, guys, make sure that you're getting your course selection sheets in. I know you, many of you received information from your counselors and, and you know, in the, the scheme of things, some of that may have gotten lost, but it's critical for us to start to really look ahead to next year. And, you know, the registration process for us has been a little delayed, uh, but we're okay with that. We're still on a good timeline. Uh, so rest assured that. So get those sheets into your counselor as soon as possible. Um, you know, and again, I know we've had some questions from incubator guys. We're getting things finalized. Uh, for those rising sophomores who will be juniors next year, uh, go ahead and fill out your course selection sheet anyway with your electives. Um, and if we do move forward with you uh, in the program, we'll let you know that and we'll give you some information and next steps. But go ahead and complete those anyway so we have those on file as soon as possible. Uh, last announcement here for today is, is just uh, keep your eyes open for some information coming home. We've been trying to finalize what the end of the year looks like and what format it can look like. Um, I know that sounds a little strange, uh, we're, you know, used to last bell ringing and papers go flying and lockers are empty and guys are sprinting to the parking lot for the last time. Uh, we know that'll be different this year. And, uh, you know, we're, we're adjusting to that. We're trying to make it the best possible end of the year for not only our seniors, but for faculty, for staff and for our entire student body, as well as our parents. Uh, we want you involved in as much as this as possible. There are still some logistical things that we need to work out. Uh, but we're going to have dates down for everybody. And again, a lot of those will be tentative uh, that you see, especially those that might extend into the summer. Uh, you know, obviously we're, we're still working day to day with getting information from all different areas to try to make the best decisions we can. And, you know, unfortunately we just don't know a lot. So any date um, like they were for this spring could be postponed, could be canceled, could be rescheduled for a later date. All right. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and, you know, a complete academic end of the year announcement will come for everybody on Monday. Uh, so we didn't want to bombard you with too much information this week. You got the walkathon stuff out. That's important. 
uh, that's that's more than important actually that's critical for us uh, so get to work on that Just get to your studio teacher so if you need any help setting things up uh, they're going to be your direct line communication especially for you know any online giving and things like that let us know what's going on there um, so walkathon course selection we keep dry out for end of the year stuff and make sure you're finishing the week out strong guys again the work is not optional your participation is required it's mandatory um, we've stayed the course throughout all of this. We haven't wavered in, in what we're doing. Um, a lot of their schools have modeled what we've done um, based on us taking charge right from the beginning. Uh, and we're very thankful we did that. And it put us all in a really good position to succeed, including you guys heading into to, uh, you know, sort of this uncertain spring. So take care, everybody. Have a great Thursday. Uh, and we'll see you back here Friday morning. Thank you.